For many people, a tornado cutting through their town is a source of tragedy. But a tornado in the town of Frankfort, Kentucky, led the distillery Buffalo Trace to an idea. I remember the day pretty vividly. It was on a Saturday, and it was after dark, and the tornado came through and basically peeled the, the roof off of this warehouse. Of course, the next day, we had bricks all laying around the warehouse. We were really concerned about the barrels, and, and so we rebuilt the roof. But it took about six months for us to get all that done, and so we were concerned with those barrels, and we started tasting and testing those barrels, and come to find out, we actually felt like it improved those barrels by giving a little punch so we, we ended up bottling it up and calling it tornado surviving bourbon, you know. After realizing that harsh weather could have positive effects on bourbon, Buffalo Trace created Warehouse X to conduct temperature and climate experiments on bourbon barrels. Yeah, for us it was an eye-opening experience because again, we were so nervous about those barrels being exposed to the weather. So one of the things we did is we sat down and drew up plans for an experimental warehouse. Inside Warehouse X, the company tests four main variables in consecutive experiments. We're focused on surface temperature or sunlight. We're focused on temperature. We're focused on air movement and humidity and those variables. And then we're, we're focused on keeping them steady and swinging them up and down. And one of those chambers is literally a breezeway where it's not controlled, the environment's not controlled at all. Buffalo Trace has pumped over a million dollars into this facility and has collected a lot of data to try to understand how weather affects their livelihood. The HVAC by itself costs us about $600,000 just to be able to manage that humidity and temperature really closely and be able to do the things we need to do. I think up to this point, I've kind of lost track, but we're up over six million data points we're learning a lot about temperature and humidity and those things, airflow, and because of that, we've installed monitors in our existing warehouses, so then we can overlap the data and understand why these barrels taste the way they do at the end of their life cycles. The tornado that came through, it, it opened our eyes in the fact that the, the mother nature kind of rules, and she determines a lot of things, and we're, we're constantly evaluating what happens when the weather changes. All together, we've got 20 years of experiments lined up. And at the end of that 20 years, our goal is to be able to explain the differences in our bourbon and why they are related to humidity, temperature, and airflow, and, and sunlight. Buffalo Trace plans to continue experimenting in this warehouse for years to come, so they can be prepared to produce good bourbon come rain, sun, or even another tornado.